Some have called it the war of leftist aggression. Others, the battle to finally end slavery. History, however, remembers it simply as the Second American Civil War. In the highly emotional and politically volatile second decade of the 21st century, the United States found itself split down the middle in what would soon become a battle for the soul of a nation. Utilizing meticulously restored email correspondence, artistic recreations of pitched battles, and the historical data housed in the Library of Congress, Woke Bay Features, in collaboration with 14 Words Productions, brings you Dispatches, Voices from the Culture War. My dearest Faith, I hope this letter finds you and Mother well. I trust she has not touched anything in my room as I asked prior to joining the Breitbart Battalion. Our marches have been grueling, with Major Southern driving us day and night in the hopes of pushing through the enemy lines. Some within the unit have begun saying that the incessant nature of these maneuvers are simply the Major's desperate attempts to maintain attention or relevance. Others believe she truly wishes to crush the enemy's resolve by turning their own identity tactics against them. For my part, I just don't know. It has been quite difficult, as their Twitter blocks have made launching our attacks increasingly tricky. I don't believe I have properly triggered or owned a lib in nigh on two weeks, and to tell the truth of it, I believe my resolve is waning. Two weeks ago, we launched a surprise attack on one of the enemy's supply lines, seeking to cut General Kaepernick's resource chain for good. I myself slaughtered no less than ten pairs of Nike tennis shoes, but was nearly overrun by a brigade of gym shorts which took us from behind. Throughout all of this horror of conflict, the notion of having anyone know that I'd been taken from the rear has shaken me to the core. Some fates are worse than death, my trad love. People thinking I'm a homo? It's almost enough to make me wonder if this culture war of ours is even worth it anymore. I give a tolerable amount of love to the children and to my body pillow. I hope to be back in your cold, dispassionate, religiously enforced embrace soon. Yours truly, Hank. As the flame war battles took hold throughout the Twitter sphere, both sides soon took to waging wars of attrition, attacking each other's presumed resources and supply chains wherever and however they could. Dear Zerself, I hope this letter finds you and your son well. It has been an exceptionally traumatizing experience. I have been misgendered more times than I can count. I have had to watch as innocent, non-binary, two-spirit, other kin have been mercilessly slaughtered by hashtags, and as I write this, our supply lines are running low. The Nazis have cut off all access to Whole Foods, and without a steady supply of avocados and toast, we have been reduced to kiwi fruit and English muffins. The bitter flavor of white imperialism is almost overpowering in these muffins. I fear not even an egg-free salad emoji could restore the strength I have lost simply holding up this iPad. I missed you, my wokest of woke bays. You and your son. We are set to launch a new offensive tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be too offensive. Word is that our intelligence forces have discovered a particular burger chain has been secretly supporting the enemy, empowering the Nazis with its greasy, animal-style filth. I honestly cannot tell which sickens me more, the notion of feeding hungry, hungry Hitlers or the cruel GMO experiments performed on those innocent chopped onions. We have struck a tentative support arrangement with a local vegan cafe, but only on condition that none who attend negotiations identify as white men. Damn this penis of mine. If only it were more feminine. I guess you were right all those years ago at Evergreen. It truly is a tool of oppression. In my case, my own oppression. 
It has gotten so hard. I've taken to drink as of late. I hope you can forgive me. We set out tomorrow to march on Oberlin College. Commander Wheaton has told us that a fresh set of block lists and Che Guevara t-shirts await us there. I only hope we do not find ourselves ambushed by any spicy memes along the way. A kiss your son for me, and if it's not too much to ask, see if Tyrone could have you call him Caleb while he keeps you warm while I am away. With all my love and all my wokeness, your forever soy boy, Caleb. With the war escalating and supplies dwindling, the Breitbart Battalion and Maddow's Marauders both begin to advance on enemy strongholds in the hopes of breaking through and capturing vital burgers and shoes. With no end in sight, the Second American Civil War raged on.